Hello everyone. Welcome to Deconstructed Learning. Today we will implement speech to text recognition in Swift UI in the most simplest way possible. Or as of now what I know of. Okay. Uh the most common use as we know is to populate a text field and I have come up with the most easiest solution. Uh introducing Swift UI speech to text package. and ah uh, here we go okay so what we can do uh we can go to this link i will attach it in the description below and go through its documentation these are some prerequisites to implement it in the swift ui project that you are working on okay um i have made it it's a swift ui package that i built to help developers in both the ways one one if you want just to implement in a text field for a side project and second if you want to implement it in a custom ui you can visit this page import this package read the documentation i have tried to make it as simple as possible and you can do it in 6 to 7 steps okay but today our target is to see the implementation of the most easiest way is that populating a text field so what we can do is copy this link we have copied it we will go to xcode uh, here is a demo that i was working on okay but we will create a new project and see it from scratch new project i was up give it some name such as demo swift ui swift no text test cases create okay let's wait okay demo app is done what we need to do is to go to file Add package dependencies. Okay, you can see it already is there because I have imported it for other projects earlier. But we can always paste the link here, and then, as you can see, just add the package. Here we go. Package is added. Now we need to import it. Import. Swift UI, Swift UI. Okay. Speech. I don't know why it is not auto populating. It should be by now. Is it? text let me rephrase it okay here it goes we have pasted the package imported it and now we are going to create a state variable Give it a name, speech text, assign it a data type, string. Give it a default value, and then remove this part. Here is the view that I am dealing with. Copy it. Paste it, and assign it with the binding variable that we have created. <coughs> okay so as you can see this is the basic ui you can uh, call this view it can be reused and yeah so let's see how it is uh, how it is the final implementation so before that we need to add 
to privacy access in the info list here we will add privacy mm. okay i don't know why it is little surprising okay let me okay now it is privacy and we need to give the access microphone uses another access we need and that is okay why it is not okay here it goes another privacy access that we need to provide is speech recognition uses description okay these two access we need to provide then go back to the project okay and change it to a simulator click on run it is building waiting for simulator to pop up here it goes Uh, let's wait a little bit okay here it goes so what we can do click on this button and hello hello okay it's uh, recording so should we stop yes okay the text field is populated so now what we can do we can use this speech text variable in searching for the desired uh, uh, desired text in a list or a array of strings uh, and that's it uh, one thing to note is that this can only be implemented on ios 16 and above okay and uh, for users who want it in a different ios version or want a different custom ui and implement the speech to text they can still visit to the documentation of this package and you can easily do that as well after importing and just following this six or seven steps and that will look something like this okay right now it is not loading i don't know why <laughs> yeah you this is another type of implementation as well okay okay hope you liked it and hope it resolves an easy solution an easy problem 